And he said to them, Where is your faith? And they were afraid, and they marveled, saying to one another, Who could this be? That he commands the winds and the water, and they obey him. Is Jesus on this journey with you? Let's talk about it. It's a brand new day of new beginnings. Let's celebrate, celebrate. Chrissy G here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and blessed week thus far. Today we are going to talk about Jesus and the disciples once again. <laughs> and it is actually quite amazing to me how, you know, people who have spent day in and day out with Jesus Christ have seen him perform countless miracles could still waver in their faith, right? And so I say this to encourage you that if you're struggling in your faith in any aspect, I want you to hold on and hold fast because even the disciples struggled <laughs> at one point and they were with Jesus and seen miracles manifested in real life. And so today we're going to talk about taking Jesus on this journey with you. And so we're continuing with how we should move in this season, right? And so the first one was to lay your plans before our Father's feet so that God can anoint and sanction and give you his blessing towards how you will move forward. So God has given you his blessing and you are moving forward. Do not forget to invite Jesus on the journey with you. You want Jesus on that boat because when the winds and the rains and the storms come, which they will, you want an anchor who will hold you. You want someone who will protect you. You want Jesus in your vessel. You want Jesus on your journey. And so we meet the disciples in Luke 8. They were with Jesus after Jesus had just finished preaching to a multitude. And so they get into a boat. Jesus says, let's get in the boat and go to the other side of the lake. And so they all get in this boat. And of course, Jesus being exhausted from, you know, all the preaching and parables and everything takes a nap. <laughs> he took a nap. And so then a storm arises out of nowhere and the boat is being rocked and the disciples are like, okay, we are going to die. <laughs> we are going to die. And so they wake Jesus up like, master, master, wake up. Like, don't you see we're about to die? We are about to die. And so Jesus is looking around like, okay, peace be still. And just like that, snap of a finger, calm it down, calm it down. And so the wind, the waves die down, everything is calm and peaceful, no more storm. But then he looks at the disciples and he's like, where's your faith? Like, who am I? Like, I've been with you this whole time and you still don't believe. Where is your faith? And so that is the question that I'm posing to you as you continue on this journey. I want you to always check in with yourself and say, where is my faith? Do I truly trust that if inviting Jesus on this journey, that I am going to be okay, that we're going to make it to the other side of that lake? Where is your faith? Is Jesus in the boat with you? Because we don't want to step into vessels and we don't want to, we don't want to go on journeys without God and Jesus Christ being with us every step of the way. And God already said that if you invite me, I will be with you wherever you go. You don't have reason to be afraid or fear because nothing that comes against you will be your demise, right? You will not perish on the boat because Jesus is in the boat with you. Because Jesus is on this journey with you, you have no reason to fear because you cannot fail. And so moving into this new season, I want to remind someone today that you need to invite Jesus in on the process. Whatever it is that you're choosing to do, you've laid your plans before God, but don't make a move without taking Jesus with you. 
because the journey is too important. Where God is leading you is too important for you to go it alone because there will be temptation. There will be roadblocks. There will be stumbling blocks. There will be walls that you'll have to break through. There will be mountains you'll have to climb, valleys you'll have to go through to get to the other side because no journey is easy. But when you have Jesus in it with you, riding it through with you. It doesn't matter what arises. It doesn't matter what storm comes and how hard the boat rocks, because guess what? If Jesus can sleep through this, then I don't need to be afraid. If Jesus is not worried, then I don't need to be worried. And it's funny because that reminds me that I used to say that to my husband, you know, when, you know, there were things that were happening that, you know, kind of shook his faith a little bit. And so I would always say, well, if I'm not worried, you don't have to be worried. When I start getting worried, then we might need to panic <laughs> a little bit. And that is because I knew who held me. I knew that I was rooted so deeply in Christ that if I'm journeying this life with Christ, I cannot fail. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter what stands in my way and comes against me. I'm not going to fail because Jesus won't let me. So if Jesus is resting, then so am I. I'm going to rest and I'm going to lean back and close my eyes and be at peace on this journey because I know that God will not let me perish. This boat is not going to sink. This journey is not going to end in failure. So when Jesus says, where is your faith? That hit me. That struck me deep. Because he was looking at his disciples and I'm sure he was looking at a little bit of disappointment. Like, I have been with you this whole time. You've seen what I can do. You've experienced the power that runs through me. And you have borne witness to the glory of God. And you still don't believe in me? Where is your faith? Where is your faith? In this new season, you are going to need your faith. I said it in the last video. Radical faith is a requirement to win in this new season. You cannot let yourself be shaken up by small storms and winds that blow. Not when you have Jesus in the boat with you. You have no reason to fear and you have no reason to stop your journey and give up because you are not going to perish here. This year, this season, God is going to show you miraculous things and he is going to constantly be reminding you of the level of faith that you are operating on and pushing you to higher heights. So if you want to see where God is trying to take you, I need you to stretch your faith and I need you to invite Jesus on the journey with you and say, Lord Jesus, I invite you on this journey and I ask that you stay with me and be with me no matter what comes our way. I'm going to trust in you. I'm going to believe in you. I'm going to have faith in you. And though what comes at me may look a little bit scary, I will not waver in my faith because you are on this vessel with me. You are on this journey with me. And if you're at peace and you're resting and taking a nap, then I have no reason to fear and I have no reason to worry. That's all I'm trying to say. So if you are starting a journey, take Jesus with you and check your faith. Let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to pray for the person watching this video today. We all struggle with faith and where we are in our belief in you. But Heavenly Father, I pray that as we embark on this journey that you have ordained for us, Heavenly Father, I pray that we take Jesus with us and that we recognize the power and the magnitude of what it means to have Jesus Christ on this journey with us. And that as we invite Jesus on this journey, then we are saying that we are resolving to trusting you, God, to trusting Jesus Christ with this journey. That whatever may arise, whatever storms may come, whatever winds may blow, we will not fear and we will know that we will not perish because Jesus is in the boat with us. And so we will check our faith constantly knowing that we are with the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And if he is resting and he is at peace, then we should be as well. So Heavenly Father, I pray that you will touch us and anoint us on this journey. That each and every one watching this video, as they, as they proceed 
through this season, Lord Jesus, that you will be with them, that they will take you on this journey with them, and that they will be strengthened, and that they would be uplifted, and that they will not fear any evil, they will not fear any obstacle, but that they will push through because they are becoming stronger, because they are becoming wiser, because you are building people for your kingdom, and they cannot be so if they don't go on this journey. So Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you for our success stories. We thank you and we praise you for getting us to the other side. And Heavenly Father, most importantly, we thank you for the journey, for all that we will learn, for the many ways that we will grow, and for the miracles that we will see manifested throughout every step of the way. So we thank you, Lord Jesus, and we praise you and we bless your holy name. And we invite you formally to come with us on this journey and never leave us or forsake us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take Jesus with you on your journey. Love you guys.